So again, we have a very similar situation here. We have a restaurant with 10 different flavors of ice cream in the freezer. And we want to make a sundae which consists of three scoops of ice cream. And we want to know how many different combinations of ice cream flavors that Danielle has, assuming she wants each scoop to be a different flavor. Uh, does the order that she picks the scoops matter? Well, no. Looking at the picture that we have, it's a sundae, so it's not like she'll be eating one first, not like an ice cream cone. So we can assume that the order doesn't matter. Some people may like to argue that it does, but for the purposes of this question, we'll say that it doesn't. So we need to look at how many possible to, possibilities excuse me, to choose from. We have ten possibilities. As we said, the order does not matter, so 10C. How many items is Danielle actually going to choose? That would be 10C3. Again, jump over to the calculator. 10C3, we calculate that out. 120.